Hi, I'm Pastor Ken Shorley at the Market Street Presbyterian Church, located at 1100 West Market Street in Lima, Ohio. And I'm recording some devotional messages for our YouTube channel. And I want to share a message with you today from a very special dog, The Life of Lass. And it comes from this book, Lessons from a Sheep Dog, A True Story of Transforming Love by Philip Keller. Now, Philip Keller wrote several other books, and I'll tell you a little bit about the author here before I get into the story. But uh, he lived from 1920 to 19 or to 2001. He was an agronomist, and he wrote other books. One other book I highly recommend is A Shepherd Looks at Psalm 23. Any of the books by Philip Keller are worth reading, but this one in particular is my absolute favorite. The story of Lass. So I'm going to just take you to the drawings and allow the drawings to give the story. Philip Keller went up to Canada to do some farming and he also wanted to have sheep. He wanted to be a sheep farmer and he knew that he was in need of a good sheep herding dog. And I guess he was a little short on money so he wanted to try to just pick one up somewhere and he came across an advertisement in a newspaper that advertised for a border collie dog that was free to anyone who wished to have the dog. So Keller drove to the residence and was completely surprised to find out the dog had been kept outside and chained. But Keller agreed to take the dog and the owner of the dog said that's fine and so he took the dog back with him and he has a lot of vivid detail about how he could hardly get near the dog and the dog's name was Lass and he kept the dog in a cage and kept feeding it and kept trying to befriend it. And then finally he decided, this dog is just too wild and too mean. I can't deal with it. And it's not good for the dog. So after a few weeks of trying to tame the dog, he made the decision to let the dog go free. And he opened the door of the cage and gave total and complete freedom to Lass. Lass ran off into the woods and wasn't seen for several days. And then one day Keller was out uh, tending the sheep in the field and he looked off in the distance and he saw two little eyes looking at him. He said, that must be Lass. So he went up to the spot where he had viewed the dog and he left some water, some food. And little by little, day by day, the dog would make its appearance. And little by little, day by day, Philip Keller would befriend Lass. And then it got to the point where the dog that was once chained like this was now being trained. And here's a shot of Keller, a drawing of Keller with Lass. The dog that he had to release out into the wilds was now his friend. 
the dog that was so angry and so bitter was now reconciled to Philip Keller. The dog that went astray was now found. So Keller began to work with Lass and eventually Lass would take care of the sheep. Lass would do what Lass was born to do. Care for the sheep. Everything that God had put inside of Lass at birth was now coming out. Lass could sit in the fields and watch over the sheep. And if they began to stray, Lass knew what to do. Lass could respond to the commands of Philip Keller and be an obedient dog and do what God had intended Lass to do. And Keller even talks about how there were rustlers who would come by to try to steal the sheep and take them. And Keller would call upon Lass to go with him at night when he went out with his gun to scare off the ones who were coming to steal the sheep. And what's interesting is what Keller says here, and let's just, just read a, a little tiny portion of the book to you. For those down here, for those who lived for where we lived, most of the ranchers kept sheep, and rustling had become quite common in our part of the country. Men in tracks would back up to a fence, in trucks, excuse me. <laughs> Men in trucks would back up to a fence, cut the wire, and make a wide opening and then send in their trained dogs into the pastures to round up a bunch of sheep, driving them right into the truck to be hauled away. As I left the house in the dark, Lass would instantly be at my side. No need to even call her. With experience, she too learned to listen for the alarm jangle of sheep bells when out near the flock when the flock fled. Leaping joyously beside me, she would bound up in the dark and lick my hand as if to say, Cheer up, boss. This is a great adventure. So off we would go, side by side, to see what the danger was. <laughs> so we have to go back in time. And remember, this is, this is the one that Keller started with. Okay, but then the portion that I read you, that's the one that Keller ended up with. The dog by his side, who would do anything, anything for Keller and anything for the flock. Now this little book is very powerful, in my opinion, because I'm a dog lover, <laughs> and I know some people Books like this are not that powerful in their life because they're not that attached to animals. But this book is so powerful that at one time I actually preached three or four messages <laughs> based on the book. Of course, the messages came from the Word of God But Keller will use Lass as a living parable about the human condition. That this is this is this is what we are we were all like. All have sinned. All fall short of the glory. 
we were under the power of sin and the power of the devil. But, but due to the patience of a loving shepherd, the Lord Jesus, we were taken into his arms. We were loved. We were cared for. We were redeemed. And then because we were loved, cared for, and redeemed, God brought us to that place where we could do what? Serve him like Lass served her master, Philip Keller. And we got to the point that with Christ in us and the power of the Holy Spirit, we could face any danger because we knew of our calling. We knew of who we were received by, the Good Shepherd. So this little book, uh, Lessons from a Sheepdog, by Philip Keller, I highly recommend it. And as I said, <laughs> in one congregation where I served, I actually had three or four messages based on this book. Of course, the focus was the Word of God. I recall I even purchased maybe 30 copies of this book and distributed them and let people read it as I, as I did the sermons. It's a very simple book to read. And I would highly encourage you to read it, especially if you're an animal lover and a dog lover. And especially if you love Border Collies. Lass taught me a great deal. And I believe Lass can teach you a great deal also. Our Heavenly Father, At one time, we were all like Lass, angry, chained, bound. But by the power of the Holy Spirit, the Good Shepherd, the Lord Jesus came into our lives. And when the Good Shepherd, the Lord Jesus came into our lives, we were told what our purpose was to be on this earth. To love God the Father, to serve in the church of Jesus Christ, and to have the power and presence of the Holy Spirit to ward off the enemies. We were found by you. We were loved by you. We were empowered by you. And thus, our lives have been transformed. All because you made a decision to love us. Please, Heavenly Father, let anyone know who is in great need of this love. That that love is there that the love of God has been shed abroad in our hearts by the power of the Holy Spirit. For we pray it all in Jesus' name. Amen. So I would like to thank you for watching this video. And once again, I'm Pastor Ken Chorley at the Market Street Presbyterian Church, 1100 West Market Street in Lima, Ohio.